Hi, it's Apple1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox. And today I'm bringing you some footage of a fun fight I had with Super Blaze while up at Shinny, uh, hanging out with some people up there, having a few funs, 1v1s, a few silly fights. Um, we were doing uh, fun just hanging around at Shinny, 1v1ing each other, having a bit of a laugh. I took on something that I shouldn't really take on, which is uh, Super Blaze's Vichette build. I think. He's currently uh, running three flechettes and two multi cannons on that thing, so he can actually kill you when he's taking your drives out. Um, I hate fighting the flechette build; it's a nightmare. Um, I was taking solace in the fact that if I got through his banks, I would take that as a victory, and I believe I got through all his banks. Um, I didn't land a single ram. He's just too evasive, and because um, he's not looking to ram me. This ship was built to counter the 5PA uh, plasma ramming guys, um, so they would look to ram me as much as I looked to ram them. Uh, obviously not after the first two or three rams, they'd soon realise. But uh, anyone properly jousting, it's not too bad. But the flechette build tends to kind of do this kind of weird orbiting manoeuvre. And also, because I think the weapons don't take much distro, they can camp more pips to engines and shields more and... It, yeah, they're tougher to take down, but I lasted longer than I thought I would and I don't mind taking on an unadvantageous fight I don't mind taking on a, almost a direct counter build at times because um, You know, I'm not a sweat PvP -er. I don't mind if I lose and also When you're doing organic PvP, which is what my preferred choice is you have no choice You're just you pick your poison when you go out and about in your ship, so you need to be able to take on anything you come up against, or at least be useful against anything you come up against, which is why I will happily fight out an unfavorable fight when I'm in something where it's going to be a struggle uh, because of what my opponent's using. Because, yeah, well, you know, if I run into an IED guy in a system where I'm pirating or whatever, I will grab a combat ship and go back over there. And I don't know what ship he's going to be in when I turn back up in a combat ship. Um, you know, quite often it's a Meta FDL and that's why I have ships like this which were good against Meta FDLs or 5PA FDLs uh, the 3 the three ra uh, three Plasmac 2 rail a little more difficult but the 5PA this this ship was designed to smash the 5PA um, you know because they would plasma ram I always found it funny when people who like proclaim to be massively skillful and when the, all they were doing was barrel stuffing with 5PAs it's like it's the, you know you're moaning at me for ramming people, but all you do is ram people. It's yeah. and you moan that I don't use high skill weapons like PAs, but all you're doing with them is barrel stuffing, which is not exactly that difficult. Um, but overall, uh, this ship has served me so well in so many fights, even when it is in an unfavorable situation. And it was one of those nights because I actually then, after this fight, I had a fight with Indica, which I'm not bringing to you because it was blatantly unfair. Uh, and I'll show you why it was blatantly unfair. Indica took a fight on and had the absolute opposite to me. Um, he had the unfavorable position. It was completely ridiculously unfavorable for him um, because the FDL he'd chosen to use was, I think, mostly a multi cannon. It, I think it was multi cannon and rails, I can't quite remember, but it, it looked really nasty on paper and I thought it was going to be a really tough fight. Um, I don't think either of us had chaff, and I was in my gim gimbaled beam de lance. He was in a multi cannon FDL. It's going to be, you know, a straight up fight. He had all boosters. I have all but one as boosters and one heat sink. So pff, he's going to have stronger shields, and pretty much it's going to be a real trouble to get his shields down, or at least I thought. Um, and then about halfway through the fight, he confided into me as to why. His shields were disappearing a lot quicker than mine were, and uh, it's the same problem I have when I take my Corvette up against Scooby's um, uh, uh, Corvette. The fact that, yeah, if you go for an all, all Mega Jewel build, it's great against PAs, but yeah, it has that problem with thermal resistance. And uh, yeah, Indica's, <laughs> Indica's multi cannon FDL that he brought that night uh, was basically handing me another 23% 
damage. On top of my already thermal conduit beam lasers, which are doing you know 60% more damage. Uh, yeah, because of the heat. Oh man, that was yeah. It was a joy watching those shields melt so quick, but I felt quite mean, and I'm not using the footage. Uh, GG to Indica for even taking that fight on. That was crazy, man. Um, almost as crazy as taking this fight on with a one a uh, one good mod, uh, guardian module reinforcement. Yeah, the smallest module on my ship is the reinforcement. Um, you know, and I know Frodo will say yes. Well, you could counter build and you know put a um, auto maintenance unit on a ship, and then it's it's perfect counter for these things. And yes, auto maintenance units do really, really help against the ship builds. There's almost a direct counter. Um, I don't know how I managed to get away with reloading so much in this fight. But the fact that I had to reload is a bit bad. Um, this ship really does rely on ramming, and I just didn't... I haven't... I don't know, I was just off. I just couldn't get a ram. There's a couple of times that I thought I'd really save my boost, and I was in the right position too, and it's just, yeah. I just couldn't get it going. But sometimes it's like that. Sometimes I, you know... Um, yeah, I just wasn't quite uh, back to matching correctly and getting in the right position to and also I was for some reason I was boosting every time I could for the first half of the fight which is like the worst thing to do in this ship um, you can see here now I'm playing a little more patiently I'm holding on to my boost and now I'm hitting much better shots I'm getting much closer in with the frags that's what I should have been doing from the start but you know I, when I fight, I'm terrible. That's why I'm not a PvPer. Uh, you know, I tend to just floor it in the R and just get in there and just windmill in, windmill out. If you've got keys, use them. It's pretty much my fighting style when it comes to Elite Dangerous. No skill, just get in there, do as much damage as possible, try and smash them, try and ram them. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not a high skill. <laughs> I'm not a high skill pilot. Though I fight against a lot of high skill pilots, it's got to be said, and they run rings around me like this fight. Um, but I don't mind. It was nice just to come up to Shinny and see some familiar faces, hang out, chat, have some fun in party chat, taking the mick out of each other. Um, you know, uh, Meta Orange took on uh, General Phoenix. I took on three fights. I'm bringing you two of them as videos. I'll spare Indica's blushes with the, that one where he's got minus 23 thermal resistance because that's just funny. But ultimately, it was just good fun having some fights, hanging out, seeing some people. Um, you know, just nice that there's a little bit of life left in the game. Um, we'll see how it goes over the next few months. I'm, you know, at this point, the updates just come out. The no CGs will uh, start to hurt in like a couple of weeks or three weeks because, you know, you don't always have a CG, so it's not too bad to not have a CG for a while, but it, uh, you know, it soon kicks in. Um, hopefully you have to hear our pleas and give us some really low effort CGs. I was thinking they could just literally rerun the old ones. We wouldn't even care. I mean, they could literally just pick a year and rerun their CGs over again. Because it's like, some of them, like you could just make out our annual events. That would be quite easy. Just do like um, 24 like old CGs, regurgitate them and call them annual events and then run them every year from now until eternity. That would be easy and it wouldn't take any effort. Um, but you know, F dev and effort. Uh, I gotta say, my ship did hold up pretty well but that's the B rated, I think, um, part. But unfortunately the module reinforcement did let me down in the end. Anyway, GG to Superblaze, he totally outflew me, it was a great fight. And uh, I'm just glad I got through with all these banks. That's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Up. Flight assist off. You sure is zero? Nah. Power plant can be seen. Shields offline. Yeah, I've heard.